Sure, my case. Hello, and welcome to Unique Motor Garage. Today, we're looking at a Leray Blue L405 Range Rover Vogue autobiography of the supercharged V8. It has the 22 inch alloy wheels with new tyres, Pirelli tyres, and it has a two tone black and cream Napa leather interior. It's in fantastic condition. It's got a full service history from Land Rover. We've sold this car previously to a repeat customer that collects cars. And Range Rovers are holding their value quite well as celebrities drive them and they've got a really high a, a big cult following in the off-road enthusiasts this generation was launched in 2012 at the paris motor show as a 2013 model year and they just finished production uh just mid last year replaced by the L460, which arrives in Australia in just a couple of months. And, the, and another reason why this generation of Range Rover, the prices are still high. There is an 18 month wait with Range Rover. And just to give you an example, a, a 2018, same shape as this with 50,000 kilometers is still selling for $150,000. And that isn't an, even an autobiography and isn't as nice as this one. So I'm gonna take you on a tour on the service history, the log books, and just the features on this car and tell you why it's, and show you why it's unique. It comes complete with all its factory literature we have a full Range Rover service history. The genuine Range Rover headset for the rear and front entertainment. It has two remote keys. And normally a common problem with Jaguar and Range Rover keys, they fall apart. These ones are all intact. And this is the complete service history from Range Rover, starting back from 2014. and all the way to 2022, just a couple of months ago, which is fantastic to see. So let's look at the first row. The seats are power adjusted with memory settings and you can also extend them out. Full lumbar support as well. So let's jump inside and take a look. So it's keyless. You just hold the button down. It's, as you can see, 117,000 kilometers. Memory settings. Full Alcantara roof lining with leather stitched door ha grab handles. And as mentioned, panoramic sunroof that comes out. There's also a full white blind. Plenty of adjustment in the seats. Okay, and two cup holders down there. Some more storage for your phone. USB inputs. It also has a refrigerator. Really big size glove boxes and the leather on the dash is full nap leather even nap leather 
and all the way to the bottom so you really get quality and this piano black wood it doesn't really scratch like some of the German competitors it's pretty durable which is nice to know because piano black wood in other cars just look terrible especially after if they've been abused mistreated it also has a full digital instrument cluster a leather wrapped steering wheel nice stitching it's heated as well which is nice for winter it has voice control you've got climate control with heated and ventilated front seats and you can also heat and ventilate the rear seats as well but what's special about the front seats you have your own massage settings so you can increase the intensity and you can really feel it um, so that's nice to have okay so we're moving on to audio and video we'll just start with the radio it has full digital radio you got the standard stereo or you can switch to the Meridian speakers or the Dolby uh, surround, uh, surround sound logic or DTS you've got a subwoofer as well uh, you could just easily reset it and adjust the balance of where you want the music to be so if you're the only one in the car you can set the speakers towards you and it is a fantastic sound system There's digital TV DVD, CD, USB so plenty to choose from but this is interesting so I push this button Some entertainment there you go so it's got two screens so that way it doesn't distract the driver and the passenger can keep entertained watching TV yes yeah, so it's just a clever little gimmick and I can just turn that off and push off and then it's back to normal those are your ambient light, lighting colors so maybe I could change it to red or purple blue um, purple's nice you can also turn it turn down the brightness or just turn it completely off if you don't like ambient lighting not everyone does so let's talk about the off-road settings I've just raised the suspension so it gives it more ground clearance and it has terrain response. You can even leave it in order and it does all the work for you or you can manually configure it. Uh, snow, uh, mud, desert, diff locks, sand, multiple settings. It's got low range, HCC, hill descent. And this is your gear selector similar to what you get in the Jaguar XJ and XF and the electronic handbrake. I have four wheel four mode so as you can see when I turn the wheels it tells me how far my wheels have turned um, just some more information of what terrain response I'm in your compass and also water depth so if the water comes up you can look at it on the screen. So it's very useful for off-roading, so you don't flood your quarter million dollar vehicle. So moving towards the second row. You also have ambient lighting, soft leather electric chairs. And yes, the back seats can be adjusted. Nice suede Alcantara roof lining. You have rear entertainment as well. And that 
buttons, just extra lumbar support at the back. So there's plenty of leg room, uh, being the biggest car offered in Range Rover. Nice autobiography embroidered into the leather. That also comes down as an armrest with two cup holders. And that's the remote for the rear entertainment. It's a genuine Land Rover remote. Rear passengers also have two 12 volt sockets, USB fast charger, some cable inputs, some storage and their own climate control at the back. Also heated seats and ventilated seats. And even air vents on the top corner with some map lights. It's a really nice place to be, especially with the moon roof as well. And even if you're sitting in this seat, <laughs> there's a button there if you want some extra leg room. You can move the front seat without getting into the front, I guess. And it's pretty nice back here, pretty comfortable. It's pretty much sits up a little bit higher than the the first row so you do get an overview view of the cockpit and just what's in front of you as well the seats can also be adjusted back or you can recline them as you can see they don't fold all the way flat but you know nothing's perfect with any model car you've still got plenty of room just if you wanted to carry longer items but why would you in a car like this? Just with this nice quality carpets all around. This actually, you can pretty much refurbish if you ever get this dirty. That's the benefit with Range Rovers. You can re restore them quite easily. In terms of the size, it, it is pretty big for this class of vehicle. You have a power outlet there as well, some tow just some hooks if you ever want to rope things in the back and it does have a full size spare at the back okay moving towards the engine bay lever is on the left side passenger side just a lever in the middle so let's take a look at this powertrain it has a 5 litre V8 that's supercharged powered by an 8 speed sports automatic gearbox it's around 375 kilowatts 625 newton meters of torque plenty of towing and thanks to the aluminium body it can get to 0 to 100 in 5.4 seconds similar to a 911 sports a Porsche 911 sports car and that's amazing considering this weighs around two and a half tons 